गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन आई एम नचिकेत भांड आई एम अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम एम आई टी एडीटी यूनिवर्सिटी सो माई टॉपिक फॉर टूडे प्रेजेंटेशन इज डायमेंशनल सिंथेसिस एंड फंक्शन जनरेशन ऑफ अ फोल्ड बाय मैकेनिज्म यूजिंग मैटलैब सो दिस इज माई इंडिपेंडेंट फाइनल प्रोजेक्ट फॉर द कोर्स मैटलैब फॉर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर सो so during this presentation we are going through several topics such as introduction i will introduce you what is fold bar mechanism what are the application where it is used the aim of the the aim of the project that is to synthesize the fold bar mechanism objectives various objectives we are going to pursue such as finding the structural error precision points etc i will also show you the various phases of synthesis and the type of synthesis which i choose for my project i will also explain you the each and every in detail the methodology i used for making this project i will also explain you the concept of structural errors and the precision points why they play a vital role in the design of a fold by mechanism then i will show you the result and finally i will show you the animation of the fold by mechanism so let us begin so what is the difference between synthesis and analysis analysis is basically finding some parameters such as angular velocity angular acceleration of a given fold bar mechanism but synthesis is completely opposite to that of analysis synthesis produce desired output motion for a specific input motion uh, so i'll explain it uh, the basically synthesis is design of a mechanism to produce a desired output motion for a given input motion so what is the need of synthesis why do we have to do this synthesis so the basic purpose of synthesis synthesis is to minimize the cost and maximize the efficiency of the mechanism so that the designers will have to choose the simplest motion to accomplish the desired requirement so what is function generation so this is a important concept in my project so function generation as you could see the diagram below as you could see that a is the input link b is the coupler link c is the output link and d is the grounded link so function generation in in which the output link that is c it should reciprocate either rotate or move as a function of a it is called as function generation that is y is equal to f of x where y represents the motion of the output link that is c and x represent the motion or the angle of the input link a so i hope you are clear with the introduction so we'll proceed further so the the main aim of the aim of the project is to uh, synthesize the motion in which we will plot, uh, we will plot the various positions of the fold bar mechanism at precision points so what is precision points i will explain it later in my pre presentation very briefly so the basic aim is to calculate the structural errors the same i will explain in the later part of the ppt and also the find the animation of the uh, synthesized fold bar mechanism as per the users given inputs that is the user will give you the uh, range between which you want to transmit the motion so so the objectives i'll review very quickly the objective is to design a fold bar mechanism for the user defined function that is y is equal to f of x in this um, in this project we will also calculate the length of the links in this we will get an optimum solution of the length of the links we will get the solution uh, we will get the length of the input link the output link and the coupler link for which the, we have to assume any uh, any length of the link suppose if we assume a length of suppose grounded link d then proportionately we get the length of the other links so what are the precision points so are the precision points is the points where there is no error zero structural error there that i will represent in the diagram in the later part of the ppt we will also calculate the structural error and also i will show you the animation of the same so basically there are three phases of synthesis dimensional synthesis number synthesis and type synthesis so the main aim of my project is the dimensional synthesis but for the sake of completeness i will also explain you very shortly what are number synthesis and type synthesis so type synthesis is basically uh, for a given motion you decide which type of mechanism you want suppose you if you want to transmit motion do you want a cam and follower mechanism or do you want fold bar mechanism or do you want a slider crank mechanism 
and the number synthesis it tells you the how many the number of links you want the number of joints you want that determines the number synthesis and as far as this project is concerned we are going to take into consideration the dimensional synthesis so the in dimensional synthesis we find the actual length of the links the position of each of the links the angle between each of the links which tell us that what is dimensional synthesis so let us proceed further this is the methodology i have used for making this project at the start we'll take a uh, the user will give a function that is the function in which the output link should move as a function of input link so after that we'll find three precision positions three precision points are found by chebyshev spacing equations that i will show you in the next next slide with this three position uh, chebyshev spacing we get three precision points where there is zero structural errors okay if we then uh, then we proceed further and find the initial and final joint angles initial and final joint angles are basically the range in which you want the input link and the output link to move it can be any range suppose 10 to 90 degrees 100 to 120 degrees any range as you can then we will find the length of the links this could be done by the fluorstein equation this again i will explain you in the next slide then if we get then we get the length of each of the link proportionate to each other if there is lot of variation between each other suppose the input link is uh, suppose 10 cm and output link we get uh, 35 50 cm then we don't we don't get a optimum solution so therefore we go again and again choose the initial and final joint angles we we'll choose a specific range so this process becomes very lengthy without a programming language that's why i have used matlab for the same then if we get a proportionate link angles then and okay, uh, then all things are okay then we build a model and perform the error analysis so this is what the space, basically the chebyshev spacing equation where xj is equal to 0.5 x5 plus xf minus 0.5 xf minus xs cos pi 2j minus 1 upon 2n where j represent the precision, precision points in this case we have used three precision points this uh, xj gives you the precision points at the x x parameter and corresponding you using the function we could calculate the y coordinates so these are the points at where there is no error zero error you can say and in this equation xs xf xs indicates the starting point and xf indicates the ending point of the motion and n represent the number of total number of precision points you have taken in this case we have taken three and as after the plot we could observe that the the relationship between the points and the angle is very really linear as you can see in the second diagram now we'll cal calculate the corresponding values of y by using the same function as i told earlier then with the help of linear relationship between the points we can calculate the angle at which the each position of the input links is produced we can do this suppose we we have to take the ratio suppose xs upon xs minus xf that is the range of x divided by angle of theta is equal to yf minus yj this is the difference between the output angles and the corresponding difference between the five it will help us to give the relationship between the angle angular function but which means that at each position between at each precision points we would get the angles which the input link will make and the, as i told earlier this is the fluorstein equation using this fluorstein equation for three points we could get the length of the links of all the a b c and d but for this case d that is the grounded link we have to assume some standard length you can you could take it as one unit and the rest other will get as a proportionate of it for each input output and the coupled link will get the proportion of it by you solving three assignment in this equation but as far matlab is uh, concerned i have used solve command to uh, calculate this three assignment in this non linear equations so so what is structural error and precision points so basically as as we make the motion suppose as you could see in the diagram the dotted line uh, indicates the required function we, the 
function which actually we want and the generated function shows the which we get due to the synthesis so there is they are never same because for as the number of precision points we take the as we increase the number of precision points the accuracy goes on increases but we could never get zero structural error so basically structural error is the difference between the area of the curves of generated function and the required function and this points p0 p1 p2 p3 p pn show the precision points so as you could see at this point the both of the curves match and hence there is no no error so this is the concept of structural error and precision points so let's uh, look at the results which i got from the running the program so as for the function any function i took the function y is equal to sin of x i took three precision points the range i took from as it is sin so we have to take in degrees so 0 to 90 degrees the starting angle of input link was 105 and the delta theta that is the range at which the input angle moved is 120 degree similarly the starting angle of input link was 66 and the ending uh, ending angle of the output link was uh, 66 plus 60 that is 60 degree is the theta phi that is the uh, difference between the uh, initial and final position and uh, we could assume any grounded link length of the grounded link because the rest other will be the proportionate at we can also assume as the length of grounded link as one it doesn't matter because the as these are ratio they will always be in a proportionate so after running the for three precision points we get three this three precision points 60 45 0 83 0 so at this point there is no structural errors but from this the structural error starts to rise decreases rise in any form as per the function curve so and after running the frudenstein equation function we get the input link length as 37 units output links as 81 and output length links as 44 and as you could see the interesting part is that we get the structural errors is 3.84 why because we took only three precision points so the, there is a larger error comparatively between the generated function and the required function next slide i will show you how we could reduce the structural errors so this is basically for three precision point these are the three positions at which have zero errors at three precision point between the final and ending you go to uh, take a look at it and then the left side figure shows the graph for the required function and the generator function hence the area between these two gives us the structural error and this the points so indicated by o on the graph it tells us the position of the precision points here there are no error at all similarly for i am i made the uh, synthesis for five precision points and here are the results for this we could get the some sort of different result but you could observe that the structural error has reduced from 3.8804 to 1.4024 hence it is only possible to get zero structural error if we take infinite number of precision points hence which is impossible in real applications and this graph looks a bit messy for five but these are the position try to analyze it for different pre five precision points these are the five positions between the uh, starting and the ending angle and as you could see the function generated the the, the uh, gap between both the graphs is quite drastically reduced as we increase the precision points and you could calculate there are five precision points in this case where the generated function and required function exactly matches so the area between these two gives us the precision points which we obtained it as 1.4024 so now i will show you the actual animation which i which could be produced it couldn't be quite accurate because i told you for getting quite accurate we have to take infinite number of precision points so these are we so that's why we have to synthesize it for the specific range where we have to uh, where we have to get its application so there are many applications such as in pump jack bicycle suspension system of a wiper of a windshield many so therefore we do not need the complete 360 degree motion of the four bars mechanism and also we could as we could see the by changing the number of precision points we could uh, or changing the range we could uh, get the better solution and hence reduce the structural error therefore the synthesis 
helps us to minimize the cost and maximize the efficiency of the mechanism so that the designer will choose the simplest motion to accomplish the desired and required motion thank you so much any questions